Gamers, what's up? It's Golden12 back with another Honka Star video. Today, I wanted to go over the new MOC. The MOC just reset, right? I was doing testing in the previous MOC for, you know, the video, but unfortunately, uh, it reset, right? So, kind of got to update some of that, but, you know, it should still apply for the most part for that video. But point is, this video, new MOC, I've heard a lot about it. I've heard some people say it's really hard. A lot of, a lot of the reason is because of the Venturine boss on floor 12. Of course, he's going to be very annoying. But yeah, I just want to give this a shot, right? So we're going to start, like always, on the the most two important floors being 11 and 12. A lot of the times I found 11 harder than 12 than the other previous ones, so we'll see what's up here. Now, to be fair, this time around, I have a cheat code. Uh, my account has an insane upgrade, being that, well, look at this first team. <laughs> uh, if anybody has, you know, kept up with the channel at all, you you know, like, what, what power is packing behind this, so... Yeah, it's kind of like an instant win button. So if I take an L, that ain't gonna look good, right? So I gotta gotta be careful where I where I flex that one up. But before we hop into this, I want you to tell me what you think the hardest mode is, right? I'm gonna do this for every one of these videos from now on. Uh, what do you think the hardest mode is, right? I stand by the fact that it is pure fiction, without question. But between the three, Pocket Loop Shadow, MOC, or pure fiction, what do you think is the hardest? Why? Put that down below. And uh, yeah, let's get a look at this. So this first half. It's imaginary weakness. Now, granted, this guy is really annoying. He can, like, one-shot your characters for the most part if they're not, like, high HP builds. Uh, and you want a shield to counter him. However, I'm honestly not going to do that. I'm going to instead just brute force it and then, you know, by, and fix the march by giving her, you know, actual stats. She hopefully doesn't die in one hit. I'm going to swap to this side, and I'm not going to lie. Uh, I'm just going to cheat and... <laughs> Like okay, to be fair, his E1 isn't uh his E1 isn't activated yet. Cause I still gotta do the video. Uh but I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do this. I uh, like Yeah, I'm I'm just gonna do it. <laughs> I'm just gonna do it. Like, you know. Um to be fair, I probably could be using other buffers, right, to increase her damage more, because she doesn't really need Pella, because Pella realistically isn't the biggest damage boost right in terms of you know mathematics and all this stuff uh but yeah we're just gonna i was gonna leave it like that might as well get the extra stacks you know nothing too crazy all right we're gonna buff gallagher because speed funny and he also you know is the healer right so we want him to act a lot uh he got hit so this i think is going to be an ult yeah it's gonna be an ult nice all right that's actually really good so we can open with an ult at least for Gallagher to get that toughness damage in. And uh, should I just go ahead and break? You know what? Yeah, even without super break available, I'm just going to go ahead and do this. Again, normally you want the MC to act first, but I'm going to go ahead and get these breaks out of the way. Yep, there we go. I really don't want to bother with getting stunned by that one enemy. She is incredibly annoying, and thankfully we knocked her all the way back to the next, you know, action or uh, next cycle. So that's good. Ooh, defense down, not bug. We're gonna take a lot of damage from that. Uh, I'm gonna target this guy because again, he's gonna have really high damage. So we're just gonna get some hits in. Uh, nothing too crazy, right? Uh, getting rid of that guy would be useful, but honestly, again, I'm just gonna keep. Target focusing on this. Ooh, got a lucky hit off on him. Nice. Hands down. Grumay's gonna hit him with the rebreak. That's gonna do nothing. Again, I didn't even read the buff, so I don't know uh, what I'm missing out here. Alright, he's now gonna be immune to toughness, which is gonna make things, you know, more difficult, but we're just gonna keep going. I hopefully you won't die from any of this. <laughs> that's, the, that's the hope. Get the buff active for her again gonna reproc this and have the skill of Rome and then hopefully I don't die from this next hit that I'm about to eat oh that's not good okay that's fine uh, I'm gonna go ahead and proc this just so that in case Rome gets stunned like I don't have to wait uh ooh okay he didn't one shot us good 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 uh, obviously we're gonna hit him Again, it's not the premium break team, obviously, so it's, it's going to be slower than what some people may anticipate. Oh, he died from that. Is he going to die from this? Oh, huge. Okay, so we're actually going to start the turn with March active, uh, which is really good because I'm going to target focus EU. Uh, and actually, you know what? Gallagher's not going to do any break damage here. Oh, no. 
Wait, he has to go for March to go. I kind of want to cure Rome. And eh, whatever, we'll just. As it was. Oh wait, March didn't go. What? Wait, what the hell? Why didn't March go? Oh, weird. Anyways. Yeah, we're gonna target you because you're the most annoying enemy here. Maybe I can get a lucky hit off on the other guy. Mm, I'm just gonna keep up the plan. We're going to heal March because this is gonna get this active. Heal the AoE, apply the debuff, start getting the heals in. Again, Galaga's gonna have his really good heals. Wait, did I actually question? Did I put him back on the weapon or is he still in quid pro quo? No, he's back on here. Okay, cool. Uh, ooh, wait. Oh, the temporary shield? It's annoying. Or... Alright, cool, you're gone. And now we're gonna focus your part here. I think I got a lucky hit off on the fish there. Let's do a check. Alright, fish is good. Okay, cool. Fish got hit, uh, so I'm just gonna go ahead and hit him with this. It might seem kind of dumb to do that. Uh, and the answer is, yeah, it is, actually. I probably should have focused on Japart for that and then uh, just had the fish die from the follow-up. I'm going to just reproc this for energy reasons. I'm going to mostly ignore this dude on the right because he, again, is not that important. Yep, see, dead anyways. Damn, we are taking quite long for this. It, again, part of it is probably the build for my March. My March build is not anything stellar, obviously, and I also don't have a great light tone for her. Um, and it is a more hybrid build, but at the same time, it's also, you know, a longer side, being that they uh, have pretty high HP, right? But yeah, there's that. Not too bad, not too bad. Now, what do you guys expect this is going to be? Oh my god, I love this character. <laughs> it's my favorite character. No, not because her being OP. Okay. Well, that's part of the reason, but like, there's it's more than that. I also could have ulted already. Oh, wait, no, actually, yeah. What am I saying? Uh, yeah, so Pella unfortunately will not get her, you know, full ability here, but it is what it is. It's not like it matters. We're gonna do some pretty nice damage here, 500,000, yep, yep. And then, of course, we're gonna skill. Probably should have targeted that guy. I'm honestly surprised Akron did not kill here. Did I mess something up in the setup, bro? Genuinely. It is what it is. Not gonna be a big deal. My basic. Okay, your stacks, yep, yep. This is actually insane that we- Okay, you know what? Here. I'm gonna go ahead and hit him with this raw. Again, running somebody like Rua Mei is a much bigger damage bump for her. Uh, in terms of, you know, numbers. Like, again, I've, I've looked at it. Uh, and, and the calculations. But yeah, I'm just gonna do this. I don't care. I'm still working on the um, the sparkle build, trying to get her to do three turns, cycle zero, right? So, you know, hopefully I can get that eventually, but right now it's still this good old two turns of Tense Tense Tense, right? So we're not getting anything crazy here. And now you're going to die. Yeah. It's that simple. It is what it is. Goodbye. There you go. Million damage. Yep. Yep, yep. I wonder if I can do that on the other boss. Again, I'm not trying to go in this of like ego, if anything, but th this this guy is the one that I've seen people like suffer from, right? Uh, he is going to be ice and lightning weak, right? I do have Jing Liu, so in case I have to use her again, I can do that. And then here's Kafka, who this time I'm more prepared for by running imaginary units, right? So uh, yeah, also she doesn't have that really annoying stun enemy. Dear God, I hate that enemy so much, like most annoying enemy in the game, but I'm going to, instead of running Pella, um, I could do something funny by running Topaz, but I, how, how much can I like, 
juice her. Because Romei's on the other side, so I can't really get too much of a benefit. But if I run... Asta... I'm trying to think, what's going to be a bigger damage bonus? Because I know... Mathematically, Asta's like 77% attack is really huge, and same with... Wait. Oh, I could use Yukong. Oh, damn. damn. I... <sighs> Well, no, no, no. The attack bonus is going to be more important. Hmm. To be fair, Ting Yun is going to be giving like one of the bigger bonuses overall with the setup I have her on. So... I'm just going to YOLO the Ting Yun play. It, listen, if I die, I'm throwing for content. If I win... Is as planned. Okay? Is as planned. I do want to know how much damage I can do to this guy and see if I can basically ignore the mechanic. Again, I'm doubting it's even possible, but I just want to see. Yeah. For funsies. Because obviously I can just run the Wocha and like not even worry about it. But I I'm curious to see like how much I can sort of like de demolish him. Yep, yep. I skill here. I'm going to actually play smart this time with March and not use her ult immediately. Uh, I know. Crazy gameplay. I actually haven't fought this dude that much. Uh, whenever you fought him in the store, he was like way too weak. Um, so I don't even know what his abilities are. Although Rome is looking pretty low here, I'm not going to lie. That's not very pog. All right, March, we're going to have you... Um... Hmm. Honestly, I have no idea what this guy does. I'm just going to kill him. Yeah. I don't know what he does. <laughs> just gonna... Yep. Yep. And then... Obviously gonna attack you. Basic you. And then we're going to skill on you. It's gonna be random regardless, but I want to get the damage in. Okay. Again, this, this is not obviously gonna be as good as some of the dedicated break characters, like, uh... You know, Firefly, obviously, but March is still a very competitive unit, especially for a free-to-play unit. And it's going to be great to get her uh, E6, right? Get those other bonuses and damage gain, right? It's going to help out that crit build for March a lot more. As well as uh, boost her effectiveness, right? By, you know, increasing the, the scaling for the, the, one, the one buff, right? So that's going to be really nice. Okay. Uh, he looks like he's about to die. I'm gonna attack you. Damn, you're still not... Bro. Alright, come on, get out of here. It's taking longer than it should, man. Oh, wait. I can't break this guy. <laughs> Damn, having my march... See, here's the thing, my march is a hybrid build, right? So, having her scaling be... Higher. Like, if I actually leveled the talent, that'd be kind of helpful right now. Uh, but, you know. It is what it is. Alright, so we're going to we're gonna do the same thing here. We're going to attack you. Action advance forward. And then this time I'm actually going to give effect res to... MC. Okay, yeah, cool. You took a lot of toughness damage. MC got the ult back up. Thanks for the free turn. Attack down. Yep. Mm -hmm. See, that's the best thing about having a character like Gallagher who is completely immune to debuffs when built correctly. Uh, you just get free turns from stuff like this, right? You just say, what are debuffs? And uh, just win. Fantastic. Love the fact that he can do that. Alright, we're gonna skill here, obviously, to keep that up. 
uh, even though I could have waited a turn. I don't need the skill points. It's not that detrimental. Uh, we're going to attack you, because I want to make sure you die. Obviously, Kafka's going to be important, but this guy uh, can't live. Okay. As long as I beat this in enough cycles, I'll be fine. You know, that's really all that matters. It is going terribly slow, though. I do apologize. I probably could have sped this up with a different team setup. There's some big toughness damage in here. Okay, now he's sufficiently low. Time to start attacking Kafka. See? There you go. All is planned. Not really, but like, still. <laughs> I was just hoping to break Kafka to get her uh, delayed and all that. MC breaking obviously would have been better because they've got way more break than uh, March does going on here. So yeah. I get a turn, we'll get the action from March. The basic from you. The we'll ult from you. Yep, full we'll buffs up. And then final hit, I think. No? Okay, there you go. Yeah. Uh, again, March, pretty solid. Four cycles, not too bad. Not too bad. Right, pretty solid. Uh, especially for a completely free setup, right? Now, let's see. Let's see if I get Iga checked. <laughs> Place your bets. Ego check our huge uh, W. This is going to be really funny. Uh... It, 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 it can be really funny, but again, I am going to lose some uh, stat gain here from the fact that I don't have another debuffer, but let's just let's just take a look. Unfortunately, Ting Yun won't have 100% uptime with her buff like in the other setup. And, uh, uh, damn. Uh, uh, I don't know. Da Ting Yun's going to kill him here. See, here's the thing about Ting Yun. Her buff scales off of the person that you're buffing. And because my Akron has E1 and really high stats right now, right? Uh, Ting Yun's additional damage is going to do a lot of damage here. And it's just going to kill him. Yeah. I say a lot, but like 20k is not that much. Uh, it doesn't scale off the buffs, it's just off their raw stats, by the way. Which, in that case... I have full crit, and so I, as far as I understand, it scales off of their raw stats and not the buff. So it's not taking in Sparkle's buff, but it's taking in like her her free combat stats, or whatever. If that makes sense to any of you. Minor interruption there. Anyways, buffing Akron, right? So Akron's gonna have a very impressive stat package here with a a lot of crit. Now, obviously, she could have more crit if I had, you know, Keel and other people, but of a lot of damage bonus, right? I mean, a lot of damage bonus <laughs> and a lot of crit. So yeah, let's uh, let's see, let's see what happens to this. He's already taken a sizable amount of damage from the talent and everything. Activate Sparkle's thing just because I want the damage bonus. Okay, 104k. Or wait, 140k. God damn. Anyways. <laughs> Ooh, 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 not quite a one-shot. Damn, Akron, you're lacking in damage there. What the hell? I've seen better. Damn, no healer is rough, huh? Damn, I should have brought a healer. <laughs> Oh, guys, I threw for content, remember. Huh? All according to plan. All according to plan. Wait a minute. Akron's at max stacks. This ain't anything. Whatever.
Whatever. I don't even know what to say. Yep, yep. Ooh, taking a lot of damage here. Uh, I guess basic. Won't change a thing. You. Alright. Big fat chance I die here, guys. Uh, unless he somehow gets action advanced upward. I don't think... Yeah, no. It was already at one. So, yeah. Unfortunately, it looks like the team's gonna die here. Oh? Oh, shit. <laughs> Wait, this has to be the worst time ult I've ever done. Oh, no. There's no... You still don't roll high... You fraud. You actual fraud unit. Alright guys, uh, I may or may not have had a skill issue there. Wait. 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 <laughs> Wait, guys. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe, maybe. Come on, come on. Alright, who needs healer? <laughs> uh, oh, shit. Wait. <laughs> Um, damn. Let me just, uh, let me just, like, run that back real quick. I'm not gonna lie, while I'm running this back, I really hope the next sustain, or, like, one of the upcoming characters we get, maybe someone like Ting Yun 2 or something, has really good, like, debuffs, or, hell, maybe even a healer in the like a lot of people were hoping, um, you know, funny pink guy to be, right? Because, like, God, I... Ooh, wait, misplanned the ult again. God damn it. Because, <clears throat> like, it'd be really nice to have another sustain that's, like, actually cracked, like, Gallagher. Uh, and apply debuffs, you know? Because, obviously, I could pull someone like Aventurine, but... It's, it's like, whatever, personally. I mean, he'll get the job done, definitely, and he'll be better uh, for, you know, MOCs, right? But I, I would really want somebody who's a strong debuffer who can apply debuffs. Wait. God damn it. Uh, I meant to say, you, you know what I mean, like an abundance character or some sort of defensive character that can apply debuffs. That's what I mean to say. I, God damn it, bro. I was about to say, like, Gallagher. Bro. But yeah, that, that's all I wanted to pop in and say. Uh, I'll meet you on the other side. You know, uh, I just I, I wanted to pop in once more. Is that I, rem I, I realized why the damage wasn't as what I remember is because... All these dudes they actually have um lightning res right so they've got because they're not weak to the element it's 20 percent lightning res and specifically the i think this guy so he's going to be more resistant to fire right which i'm just mentioning this because uh, i don't have extra pin like penetration from any other source so my damage is going to get reduced than it would normally right in, a, in most scenarios so i thought i'd just mention that um I had to double check the resistances because I wasn't sure if they were immune to li or not immune, uh, resistant to lightning or not, right? Uh, it, just regular resistance, so obviously the damage is going to be lower. Okay, actually, since I'm here, instead of showing you directly the end screen and me beating it, I'm going to do it from the beginning of this fight like I am here. Because I actually changed something about my Luocha that people wouldn't have known because I didn't make a video about it. Um, but there was a specific comment that I got on uh, one of the previous videos, the one where I was talking about, you know, uh, the worst teams I've ever seen. Uh, and some... Wait, they're all CC'd. Uh, uh, some... <laughs> somebody pointed out that they're like, hey, uh, running HP Locha isn't such a bad idea, right? So and so on. And uh, you know, I thought about it. And you know what? I gotta say, I was wrong and that they are completely right. Totally. Uh, doing the math, checking the numbers, all that stuff. Uh, I realized that running HP Luocha is just kind of better than a full attack Luocha, which sounds kind of crazy because, right, you know, I for one kept saying otherwise. Uh, but the thing that you come to realize is that at a certain point, his attack value is high enough to where he's already healing like 3k to where you don't really need any more attack. And so you just build him with defensive stats. And so my build is now different. 
Uh, in fact, let me pull up the build because it's very different. Now, I'm not going to pull up all the numbers because, again, I don't want this video to be any longer than it has to be. It's already pretty long. Uh, but here's what the new build currently looks like. It's just a random piece with a two piece. I do need another dupe of post op for it to be considered like optimal, really. Uh, but yeah, here's what it currently looks like. Got decent effect res, right? We got the, you know, high speed. We got high, way higher HP and all that good stuff. Attack is actually totally fine because I, again, if we actually do pull up the number, do I have it open? No, well, I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to do it for the sake of showing you guys because it's a uh, pretty, pretty interesting. Uh, it's here. There we go. There's, right. So we actually take a look at the healing numbers for like the healing chart that I used to plan a video. Uh, Luocha at base is still going to like with 2k attack is still going to do like really solid healing. And his talent's going to proc, you know, extra healing procs. So he's going to heal way more than this, like overall. And we're just going to get a really like strong heal, right? Because again, on paper doesn't factor everything, but this is totally acceptable healing uh, for like single target. And then obviously the talent can increase. So even at like a very like minuscule attack value, it's still like enough healing to full heal your characters. So it's like, yeah, might as well just run him HP. So, yeah. uh, I've seen the light, I guess you could say. HP Luocha is like not cooked. Uh, to be fair though, I'm pretty sure that one person I was talking about in that video had way more HP. So, you know, we can nitpick here and there. Uh, but definitely running him full HP with energy recharge is like not the, the worst idea ever. Or specifically heal bonus speed and then HP, right? Um, but yeah, that, that's, that's all I wanted to comment on that. And so we'll, we'll see Luocha going to work here with the full, full HP build. Uh, so, yeah, all that good she is. Uh, do I just ult with Akron here? I'm not gonna lie, he's really low. I think in a way of just doing a skill. I buffed the right character, right? Am I? Wait. Hold on, I'm clipping that. Am I like... I lost it? Wait. <laughs> Wait, hold on. I'm pulling up my captures. I, I buffed Akron, right? Okay, I did. She just didn't... Okay, she just didn't get action advanced enough. Oh. <laughs> Yo, I'm losing it. <laughs> Yeah, 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 do your funny attack. Ooh, whoa, that's really low. Um, you know what? No, I'm gonna have to pop this here. I don't want him to die. I wanted to save uh, his thing for the, you know, funny zone, but looks like it's gonna require him to stay alive, right? So, yeah. Gonna proc this for the stack. Unfortunately, we won't be able to kill here, right? But yeah, unless we uh, make our prayers. I didn't get the ult off in time because that was a skill issue. Oh, damn, bro likes to stall. Uh, I didn't even check how many cycles this is. So I think I had one cycle plus, so meaning this is going to take three cycles. I do wonder how much I can reduce that, though. Uh, thank you, Akron, for actually. Oh. Yo, Bozo skill points. Uh, what do I do? Basic attack with Sparkle? Like, the fuck? No. <laughs> skill to the end of time. Yeah, 07 for the rest of them. They're just gonna take a bunch of damage. Yep. Out of skill. He's gonna obviously dispel that. Big Pogs in chat. Ooh, wait. Four cycles. Oh. Dude, that's a rip. Yeah, that's a fat rip, bro. I gotta find a way to reduce the cycle count. Actually, you know how I can do that? And run run man. I would run this back of Rome just to see like how much damage she outputs, but that's the video. Uh, I'm not gonna waste any more of your time. 30 minutes is quite long. Uh, but yeah, let me know what you think down below for you know this MOC, all that good stuff, right? Uh yeah, what do you want to see for videos? All that good stuff. Same idea as always. If I get big enough, right, we get a bunch of likes. Um 
made outfit my abby summons and zenless rat so yeah look look forward to you know more content and all that stuff and i'll see you guys next one. Oh wait actually uh that stupid idea that i did yeah so for whatever reason um i wasted 40 more pulls off camera and uh i somehow unironically won multi two more light cones because i was trying to get one more copy of the four star light cone for robin in the future now here's the thing i might not even get robin so i was just being stupid um yeah so like <laughs> i did yeah um yeah